Alrighty, well, so today, it's a beautiful day out here in southeast Missouri. See nice blue skies, warm temperatures, green grass. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to finish up the Gixxer. Uh, what we need to do is we need to take the regulator out of the air box. So that's where I put it after the first time it failed. So the regulator is in here. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and take off the top of this to get to the regulator. So let's go ahead and we'll get to it. All right, so to take off the uh, top of the airbox on these uh, Gixxer airboxes here is you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws on the outside. And then inside this hole, there is a screw. So you need to get yourself either a long extension with a bit on it or a long Phillips head screwdriver to get that out. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start taking the screws out. A screw here. There we go. She got the air filter. All right, so here's our regulator right here. Uh, this is not the stock location on these Jixers. The stock location, I believe, is on this uh, bracket right here. Now I moved it to the air box, kind of help try to keep it cooler. Because, uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's a lot of amperage, a lot of heat that comes with it. That's why they go bad, so keeping it here will keep it cooler. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the regulator out. Wasn't tightened down too much from the last time I had it out, so I guess they're finger tight here. Alrighty. Take this out. So here is the regulator we're going to be using. It's uh, called an LP2 kit. Uh, it's on Amazon. Put a link in the description below. I haven't ever used one of these before, so I think it's actually compared to the stock, the one I got before. So the bottom one is the one that was on here before. There's a new one up here. It's actually bigger than what I had on there before, so maybe it'll work a little bit better. Some of those extra, that extra cooling surface will help keep it cool also. 
Now I don't think this time it was the regulator that went bad on the bike. I think it was the stator that was starting to go bad. So hopefully this new stator that's in there will work out a little bit better. through bolts here there we go and I'll just tighten these back down and then we'll go ahead and we'll put this back in get everything kind of quasi hooked back up and then uh, start her up see if she charges all right so we got the air box back in there I do have to watch when you put it back down on the uh, and take uh, and take things back here to make sure your boots aren't getting caught on anything. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, start it up, and uh, we'll see what happens. So as you saw in that last little clip, uh, it's reading 14 volts, which is, I believe, where it should be at. So I think I got it fixed for right now. Uh, the one thing I will get is I'm going to get a voltmeter for this bike so that way I can keep it, uh, keep an eye on the voltage. I think that'll help. And then, uh, yeah, the last thing to do is to uh, put it all back together and give it a wash and take it for a ride, see how she does. So thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, you have any comments, any suggestions, let me know down below. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.